In this video, we're going to have a look at what makes part of a curve concave and what makes part of a curve convex. But first of all, let's talk about what actually uh, the terms concave and convex mean. Well, concave is a shape that has a void in it, has a cave in it. So this shape on the right here is a concave shape because the word cave meaning a void in the side of a hill. Well, this shape has a similar void in it here convex curve is the opposite it's a shape that has a protruding part so the shape that points outwards rather than has a void in it so that's what the terms convex and concave intuitively mean so let's relate that now to a curve so let's have a look at this sine curve here so to decide whether part of a curve is concave or convex from a graph what we're going to do, we're going to take the start point of the, the section of the graph that we want to test and the end point, let's say this is it here. Now what we need to do is draw two vertical lines pointing upwards, must go upwards, not down, and turn it into a 2D shape. And shading in the shape. We can see that it's got a cavity in it, therefore that part of the curve is concave. So rubbing that out, let's test now a different part of the curve to see whether it's concave or convex. Let's say we want to test this part here. From there to there, same test applies, draw vertical lines, which must be going upwards. And turn this into a 2D shape. And then shading the shape in. We can see that this shape here protrudes outwards. Therefore it's a convex shape. However... That's not really a mathematical test and it's not something you'd be expected to do in an exam. The actual mathematical definition of concave and convex. So a shape is concave if f dash dash x, the second differential, is less than zero. The shape's convex if the second differential is greater than zero that's the technical definition now the way i remember the difference between the two i think concave well caves are usually underground so we're looking for the second differential being under zero and that's a nice way of remembering it so let's try and see which part of the sign graph is concave so if we've got f of x equals sine x this means that the first differential is cos x, which means that the second differential is minus sine x. So the second differential minus sine x, I want to see where the second differential is less than zero. So where minus sine x is less than zero. Well, if I times both sides by minus one, I get sine x being greater than zero. So I can see that the shape is concave when sine x is greater than zero. Well, in this restricted portion of the graph, I can see that sine x is greater than zero here in this section. Therefore, f of x equals sine x is concave for 0 less than x less than pi. 
Now it's important to point out that at this point here the graph's neither concave nor convex. It's changing from being concave to convex. Now we're going to go through this in a later video, but a name for a point like that where the graph turns from being concave to convex, where it's neither, it's at the turning point of being concave and convex, it's called a point of inflection. And that's what we're going to go through in a later video. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.